Dude, before this trip even began, we've had our we've had our difficulties with three other members deserting us, leaving only three members to go out into the wilderness. Now this makes it all the more dangerous because with only three people out there, it's survival of the fittest. You really gotta look out for each other. But this group here, we're gonna become a band of brothers and we're gonna watch each other's backs, become Left a unit, point and make sure we survive out there in the wilderness. Sitting here next to this campfire, icing down our wounds. Our backs are sore. Our legs are sore. We took on some. My face kind of hurts. His big bear's face hurts. We took on some treacherous vertical terrain today. Very vertical. Both and you ways. know what? Up and down. At the end of the day, Idahoian instant mashed potatoes makes it all worth it. Just days like this makes it worth living. So last night, we heard some rustling outside, and even the burly men that we are, we got kind of frightened. We didn't know what it was. That's our, uh, that's our hut we were staying in. So this morning, we came down to get a drink and maybe bathe in the river a little bit, and to, to our horrible dismay, look what we found. Now if you can come over here and see, it's still bleeding. Meaning that the meat is extremely fresh, which kind of frightens me. What could have done this? A bear. And, could, and could it get us? Brian Morrison. My hand's been trapped in this rock for two days now. Can't seem to pry it out. I made a turn kit last night, thinking about using it. But all I have left to cut off my arm is this, this dull camera here. I don't know if that'll work, but I only have enough water. To last me till tonight, so something drastic has to happen. We're in some kind of a, a dense cave. Right the walls are lined with water like they've been dripping. And uh, we read a sign back there, and it says that there are rattlesnakes in the territory, so we're looking out for those. Make sure we don't or giant tarantula. get a terrible surprise. But yeah, it's really cold down here. I'd say about 38 degrees or so. I'm kind of freezing in my tank top. decided to hike past the shelter and continue on so we could see more sights but uh, we've come to the reality that we cannot make it to the the next shelter so we've had to set up our own camp out here in the wilderness we built, built our own fireplace big bear doing well on the fire right now it's doing well and we're about to cook and eat probably tonight's gonna be a long one so we're just sitting here right and this is about six minutes after the last commentary we made. And me and Brandon are just over there setting up our junior size tent, which sleeps two toddlers comfortably. And we fit three full size males in there. Um, regardless of that, we're fixing the fire. Everyone's just kind of doing something. And all of a sudden, the fire exploded. And when I mean exploded, like, we had a full-fledged, like, tribal dancing fire going. And 
all of a sudden this rock right here just got too hot and exploded, blew up our entire fire, made a really loud sound. It was really scary, kind of funny, but mostly scary. And yeah, we're back at square one. All the wood around here is wet, and they said there's not a chance you can build a fire. And I said, watch me. And look what we have now. So last night, peaceful night, up until about 4 a.m., when it started pouring rain on us, which was awful, because we forgot to put up the little tent covering, so we all got soaked. Had to run out in the morning and try to fix our bags up because they were getting soaked. Put ponchos on it and everything, and then because you're in a tent, the rain sounds really, really loud and annoying. So I couldn't go back to sleep. Oh, Brian, your shoes are steamy. Oh, my shoes are steamy. Back to the car about 30 miles later, and the only thing I can think about right now is food. We yeah. faced some rough times, there's some scary noises at night. Something ate a deer, it rained this morning at four in the morning. We faced some mountains, we faced some valleys, but we were strong, we were courageous, we were brave, we were.